Hello all and welcome back. In this video, we are going to cover Amazon DynamoDB Time to Live or TTL followed by a quick demo. Amazon DynamoDB Time to Live or TTL helps you define a per item timestamp to determine when an item is no longer needed and can be deleted or expired. After the expiration of the TTL timestamp, DynamoDB deletes the item from the table within 48 hours without consuming any write throughput. DynamoDB TTL is provided at no extra cost and can help reduce data storage by retaining only required data. Items that are deleted from the table are also removed from any local secondary index and global secondary index in the same way as a delete item operation. The time taken to delete the items might vary depending on the size and the activity level of your table. DynamoDB Streams tracks the delete operation as a system delete and not a regular one. The key requirements for DynamoDB TTL are The TTL attributes must use the number data type. Other data types such as string aren't supported. TTL attributes must use the epoch time format and the timestamp should be in seconds and not milliseconds. TTL is useful if the stored items lose relevance after a specific time and there can be various use cases for the same. In this demo, we will be enabling the DynamoDB TTL or time to live and verify the expiration of the items. Open the DynamoDB console we already have a DynamoDB table movies created with some data added to it. Navigate to the additional settings and you can move down a bit. We can see the DynamoDB time to live TTL option and it is currently in the off or disabled status. We will add some data to our table with an attribute denoting the TTL attribute. We can then preview our TTL configurations and its impact on this data. Let's explore the table items. Click on the create item to add a new item. Enter title item 1 for expiry. TTL attributes must use the number data type to represent the time format in seconds. Let's add a new attribute which we would use as the TTL attribute. Enter expiration as the attribute name. For the value, we are going to copy the current time in epoch time format. Let's copy the current Unix time and enter it as the value for our expiration attribute. Go ahead and create our item. Let's quickly add an another item. Enter title item 2 for expiry. Enter expiration as the attribute name and copy the current Unix time and enter it as the value for our expiration attribute. So now we have two new items with expiration attributes. Whereas our existing items do not have the expiration attributes and would not be impacted by the DynamoDB TTL. Let's go back to our table details and additional settings. Before enabling, we can run the preview to check the impact. Click on the run preview. 
enter expiration as the TTL attribute name. We can simulate the date and time and we are fine with the current epoch time value. Let's click on the run preview and it shows the two items we just added. These items would be expired or deleted once we enable the DynamoDB time to live on this table. Note this only provides you with a sample list of items and it does not provide you with the complete list of items that would be deleted by the TTL. Let's close and move on to enable the TTL feature. Let's turn on the TTL on the table. Enter expiration as the TTL attribute name. We can run the same preview feature and would get the same results. Let's go ahead and turn on the DynamoDB time to live or TTL for our movies table. The TTL has been enabled with status on, expiration as the TTL attribute and it shows zero items have been deleted in the last 24 hours. We get the number of items deleted by TTL as a CloudWatch metric as well. Let's navigate to the monitor tab. Go down to the matrix and we see the TTL deleted items or count metric. Currently it does not have any records or count. We will pause the video and get back in some time and hopefully the items would be deleted. And it's been few hours post us enabling the DynamoDB TTL feature on the movies table. Let's navigate to our movies table and explore the table items. Refresh the item list. And the items are not displayed anymore and have mostly been removed from the table. Navigate to monitor and check the TTL matrix. And it shows the count to the two items which were deleted. We should see the same number on the TTL section as well. Navigate to the additional settings and down to the TTL settings. And it shows two for the items deleted in the last 24 hours. The view graph would open the same CloudWatch metric as well. So that's it for a quick demo on the DynamoDB time to live or the TTL feature. TTL enables a per item timestamp to expire an item without consuming any write throughput. I hope you liked the demo. Thank you all. All right, that was it. Thank you for watching. You can check out my website and connect me on LinkedIn and Twitter. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. For any feedback, please leave a comment down below. To see more videos like this in the future, hit the subscribe button. Thank you.